What's going on, everybody? Yeah, not too sure what day I'm going to have this out, so hopefully you're having a good day out there. PSA, $30 value back. Make sure you guys check Joey's video out. Overall, we had 24 cars between us. I had nine. One seven. I want to say it's one or two eights. I had one eight. I'll tell you, show you that here in a minute. Uh, I want to say about six nines and the rest tens. And there's some big tens Joey got back. How he did not get upcharged on the one. Beside myself. I've seen a lot of people posting their 30 day specials. Uh, bulk when they first opened. And they did real bad. Now I don't know a lot of the people. I just look at what people post. A couple people I know. And they were way below average. I, I really didn't even want to share what we got onto this because I think we were either one really, really lucked out because I went back looking at some of the notes on some of the blemishes I seen where I thought might be nines on some cards, and they came back tens. So very, very fortunate. But check out Joey's video when he gets his stuff back next week. Some major, major nice stuff in there. Okay, on to mine. There's nothing that crazy on mine. Promise you on that. All the stuff I have here, I bought it like for two to five dollars, basically a pop. A couple of the cards I had from Upper Deck EPAC hockey that had just been sitting there forever. I think when I add this up, I roughly had maybe twenty five dollars roughly into it. So that plus two seventy grading. I can tell you the top two cards here covered my grading. So everything else is profit, which I'm happy on. Again, I don't focus on big profit. I look at the end of the year total. So let's start off here. PSA 8. Fleer Metal Jordan. Don't know what I missed on this, but a lot of times I look other people's cards over harder than my own. And this is a reflection of me missing something on my own. Black Diamond Jordan 9. These three cards here that I'm showing, one, four, and these next two are all going D.C. Um, sports for auctioning or consignment. Nine, I was leading on this one being a ten. And notice this is card number ten, I got a nine. It, we'll show you something funny afterwards. And then my Bowman streak, man, I'm telling you, Bowman, I just cannot get. I could send in ten and I'll get, like, all of them will come back nines but one. Hmm. Just don't get it. I mean, there's a lot of lines in this. I don't know if they're becoming harder on it, but everybody else I see is saying they got 10s. No idea onto it. I'm trying to see where I put my water bottle. My throat's dry from doing videos, so give me one second and we'll continue. <clears throat> Been talking on the phone most of the day, uh, and then on Microsoft Teams at work, so not used to that. All right, next up, card number nine from Upper Deck Black Diamond got to ten. I thought this one here was going to be more towards a nine versus the other one, so it kind of reversed me on it, kind of shocked me. I picked all three Jordans up. I want to say they were like $2 a piece, three for five bucks, so not bad overall. Okay, I'm just checking my notes as I go through here. The next the, I should say the Jordan alone is like 100 bucks. I'm just redoing a couple of these here real quick. So the next three are from Upper Deck EPAC that I've had sitting since late 16. Well, always wanted to grade them, never did. Nylander came back, 10 Going for about $170, $175 right now. Not bad. So these two here basically covered my grading fees. Everything else is just pretty much profit. McDavid Young Gun, second year, or McDavid Young Gun, woo! McDavid, second year upper deck canvas, PSA 10, canvases, uh, first three years of this stuff graded really, really well. I think it's like 65, 70 bucks, so still not bad, a couple dollars profit. Next one, another canvas, same year, Young Gun. Man, I always mess this guy's name up. Chichron. Um, not too sure of the value because I haven't seen any sold. But I'm gonna think I'm gonna send it to DC and just let it run, see what happens. Getting ready for soccer, so you guys start seeing a lot of soccer coming back. 
Bellingham Stadium Club Chrome. These are selling around only 35 bucks. So yes, I know I spent 30 to grade it. I got like a dollar into it, but I gotta have soccer cards for my stuff. I for some reason was thinking it was gonna be a little bit higher what these were selling for. And I plugged all my other stuff in at the $18 mark. So again, maybe a couple dollar profit hopefully on to it. If not, I break even. And up last, this was uh I think I spent four or five bucks on this card. This is by far the most expensive one that I bought um, out of the value boxes. And it came back a 10 from Spectra, the Celestial. Should be out of 99 if I remember right. Yep, out of 99. Really happy with that. Don't know really what it books for offhand. But I always have a lot of people like Steelers stuff, so I'll probably just throw a price tag on it and then go with whatever somebody comes up with onto it. I mean, literally, I got 35 bucks into it. If somebody offers me like 60, 70 bucks, I'd probably end up taking it as show. But again, pretty cool. Like I said, some of this stuff shocked me. I was thinking it looked really good. I said, this is going to come back a 9. But came back a 10, so pretty overall happy with it. Um, nothing, like I said, really big bang onto it. It was just stuff I had laying around. That I figured, you know, if I did better, well, I know I did better 50% on to his 10s, I'd make a little bit of money. And it, once I saw it, be able to really reinvest into something else I like out there. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I will catch you guys next time. Hey, don't forget, I don't know when this is coming out, this video, but make sure your lineups are straight for Gridiron. Other than that, guys, take care. Have a good one. See you next video.